experiment, open cup, no tilting. All right. Colors are Artist Loft White with a little bit of satin enamels in there. Ring. We have Windsor & Newton Deep Turquoise. So, and 24 karat gold, Americana Decor, Deco Art, Windsor & Newton Windsor Blue, and Windsor & Newton Violet. Okay, so I'm going to, my goal is to pour a little bit and then wait and let it spread out and then pour a little bit more and wait and let it spread out. My goal is to not tilt this at all. All right, <laughs> hi guys, it's Mina. Um, today, I'm going to try again. This is actually, you're gonna see a whole series of experiments. I love open cup pours with the ring. And every time I do one and I'm pouring it, I just wanna leave it alone and not tilt it at all. So I have tried this experiment several times now and I keep tilting it because <laughs> I get greedy and I like how it looks and I put more paint on and I put more paint on and then there's too much paint and if I have to tilt it. So today I have tried some few things that I, I'm hoping are gonna make a difference and be what causes this to actually work correctly. So I have spread out a white base coat. Um, this is a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas. Uh, my white is Artist's Loft, I'm gonna show you and show you my consistency as well. So this is sinking straight into the cup. It's not leaving a mound. So my paint is not very thick. 
My mix today is mostly Floetrol and just a tiny squirt of pouring medium. So I'm trying it. <laughs> this one is Garnet from DecoArt Extreme Sheen. Absolutely beautiful color. And that one is sinking. Is it leaving? Yeah, no, it's sinking. Well, tiny mound, I don't know. But it'll be okay, it'll be all right. And then I have my DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics 24 karat gold, also sinking. Not leaving a mound. Well, it sinks to begin with, and then it. <laughs> and Golden's Payne's Gray. So, I have determined so far that I seem to like it better when I have fewer layers and more rings of solid color. So, to that end, I am going to maybe only pour each color twice. And that may even be too much, because yesterday I did it and I almost got it to work, but then it still had too much paint. Okay, so and I have today's paint is a little bit thinner than yesterday's, so hopefully it'll spread a little bit more. And since there's so much Floetrol in it, it should just... Okay, let's start. I'm gonna pour a little puddle. The white. Brand new ring, just the top of one of my cups. Pop it in there. Now this one, you're gonna see a lot of fast forwarding in this video because I am going to wait for the paint to go down. Okay, ready? Here we go. Well, my thought here is to let as much of that paint out as possible before I pour more. Okay, so this next layer, I'm actually gonna have her set a timer for two minutes. Okay, so here we go on this one. I'm up high into the center. So now I think I'm gonna put a layer of white in. Don't move. Don't move. 40 seconds. We'll wait 40 seconds. <laughs> Patience, this is why this one is called self-control. So I've done this now several times and I've gotten b much better. Like yesterday I even had one that I didn't tilt it and I was finished and I put it up on my drying counter and I was like, okay, I'm gonna leave it alone. And it just, there was like this dome of paint that wasn't good. So <laughs> the weird thing here is I wanna have this just like spread but I'm also concerned with wind and heat and sun. So last time I thought I put just a thin layer of gold, but you see how thick it's gotten. 40 seconds. <laughs> so apparently I only have a minute and 20 seconds worth of patience before I start wanting to do things. <laughs> I think it's motherhood that's done that to me, is strike while the iron is hot, you know? Do it while you can. But, but this is really cool in here. You start to see the garnet has mixed a little bit with the white and there's some shades of pink but there's this beautiful fan of panes and then in here there's this really pretty swirling see this is what's so hard is it's it looks really pretty and you keep thinking oh i want to keep pouring in there well i found turning my canvas every so often a quarter turn helps a lot okay so um I think we've been at this for the better part of like 45 minutes right now and we're running out of time. So I left it for as long as I could. I did tilt it just a tiny bit at the end to get the center in the center because I don't want a canvas that looks really weird and I like it like this. So I'm happy about this one, happier. So there are really some cool parts on this that I really love. There's some beautiful areas over here in the Payne's Gray where there's these white cells and this beautiful lacing over here where the white and the garnet mixed and that gold edge is just gorgeous. Um, I love the gold over here. This part is a little too much for me, but I know what's gonna happen. It's gonna dry and I can already see all this like 
lacing in here so these were cells and they got stretched but as the paint dries it's sort of going to become like a background lacing effect like a marbling sort of effect there's beautiful stuff up here this corner this edge is just so pretty i love that garnet with the gold um, I got a little close with the torch over here, but it's actually really cool because there's all these beautiful little white cells now. So I think I've gotten this bug out of my system now. On this side, there's some really pretty red cells that are spilled over a little bit. If you have enough self-control to just pour very controlled amounts and not keep going because it is very pretty and it's fun to play with, and your paint is thin enough and you have a place where you're not worried about wind and sun hitting it and it can just stay in the shade and, and develop over time, it probably could work <laughs> to get an open cup to just do its thing and leave it alone. But I don't have that kind of time usually or that much patience apparently. <laughs> but I'm happy with this one. I like this one. Um, I will put the other ones that I've done that I did end up tilting. I'll show you at the end of this video. I'll put up some stills for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was informative and you learned something and, you know, I did. Balancing things with popsicle sticks, you know, wedged underneath to get it to move. You know, understanding level, understanding, you know, my table is level. <laughs> it's been checked five different ways. The canvas was leveled. Everything is level and yet still my paint wants to go that way. So, you know, gravity, there's certain things that you can't control all the time. And that's just, that's okay. That's the way it is. And it was my rule to not tilt it. So I broke my rule at the very end, but I'd rather have a pretty canvas than one that I don't like, especially a 24 by 24 gallery wrap. So anyways, this was a fun experiment. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will show you when it's dry and I'm probably going to come in and take some close-ups for you in a second. So I will see you after the dried result. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys being here. You guys are, you just, your comments are so sweet and so nice. And I'm really just blown away by all the love. I really, I feel it. So <laughs> thank you so much. And I love it when you guys tell me you made videos and you were thinking about me or you painted and you were inspired. I mean, that's the coolest thing ever. That's, that just really jazzes me a lot. So thank you so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed, please do. <laughs> and hit the notification bell, okay? Thanks, you guys. I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, so this is the one with the garnet and the Payne's Gray. Not my favorite piece. Um, mildly successful in that it didn't get tilted until the very end. So, <laughs> but definitely not my favorite pour. I think that what I've learned most from all of this is that it might be possible to do it on a very small canvas with very, very little amounts of paint and just leave it alone and not tilt it. But for something bigger like this 24 by 24, even if you don't tilt it, I think that it just, it really needs to be tilted. You can see there were all these really beautiful cells in here and it just, you know, it didn't spread out. It didn't have any room for all of that to open up and for it to show you the really cool, pretty parts of it. So, you know, I think what I've learned most is do your pour, take your pretty picture, <laughs> and then tilt it. Because the ones that I did tilt, I'll show you, you know, all this beautiful stuff opened up in them. Hang on, let me go get the other one. So this is a different one that I did. This was probably the third one. Very small canvas is a 10 by 10, but this one turned out really, really pretty. And this is the same open cup and you can see where it got spread. There's all these gorgeous details that came out. Look at that veining is so pretty and the gold. And over here, this is where I twirled the cup to get it off the canvas. No, don't get blown out. There we go. But there's beautiful details and you just, you don't see that when you don't tilt it. So my conclusion, do your pour, take your pretty pictures, and then tilt that baby because it needs it. It needs to be opened up so you can see all the beautiful little details. Otherwise they just all get squished in together. Like this part was so amazing. I was really bummed when it started flowing off the edge, but you know, I was trying something. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this interesting. I hope you liked it. <laughs> Please like and subscribe and share if you want to. And uh, thank you so much for, oh, hello cat.
<laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I do appreciate it. What are you doing? You're naughty. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Let's go back to this pretty one. Oh, now you're coming back. Where are you going? I love this piece, and I think this one's gorgeous. And it was really driving me nuts because I really liked all of the ones that I tilted, and I kept feeling like I was failing, even though I was ending up with these beautiful pieces. And actually, my friend Gail Bernstein, who's an amazing artist, said, you consider that a fail? <laughs> And I thought about it, and you know, you know, I don't. I think it was an interesting experiment. So thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys for the next one. Bye-bye.